Um, the one issue about constitutional review, uh, he knows my opinion. And I think, I don't believe in, you know, just tinkering with the Constitution. I believe that there should be a holistic review of the Constitution. We are in Parliament, we have applied the Constitution, and indeed we apply it on a daily basis. We know the weaknesses that confront us in the areas, in many areas, including even what he himself is alluding to, the process of amending the Constitution, uh, especially the entrenched ones, we seem to relegate the um, Parliament to the backyard. Even with the non-entrenched, what's a properly defined rule? So, Parliament as an arm of government will have many issues. Uh, you, you even speak about the, the, um, the bringing agreements and bills to Parliament. And sometimes when we have to uh, set aside some of the orders, the Constitution itself is uh, a bit confused about what to do when we have to abridge the process. You would realize, my, my colleague, that when you refer to um, Article 106, I think, Article 106, which deals with um, the mode of exercising legislative power. Let's look at it. When we come to um, Clause 13, which provides where it is determined by a committee of parliament appointed for the purpose that a particular bill is of urgent nature, the provisions of the preceding, of the preceding clauses of this article, other than clause 1 and paragraph A of clause 2, shall not apply. And accordingly, the president shall give his assent to the bill on his presentation for assent. <laughs> what does it mean? What it means is that the Article 106.1 would apply, 106.2 would apply, uh, 2A would apply. It says the preceding clauses except 1 and 2A. So the publication in the Gazette would not apply. And when you thought that that is the main issue, if you come to 3, it talks about a bill affecting the institution of chiefs and chiefs shall not be introduced in Parliament without prior reference to the National House of Chiefs. Does it mean that in an urgent situation, one can waive that? 1063, there's that unclarity. 1064 then relates to the processes that is first reading, second reading, the concentration stage, third reading, and so on. It says that all these should be should be um, suspended. What does it mean? How does the bill enter Parliament in the first place if it is not read for the first time? So there's that unclarity and confusion. And I think that we should have a holistic view of this, uh, of the Constitution. In much the same way, if we related to the judiciary, they have their own. They have their own issues. The constitutional creatures. You remember, um, my distinguished colleague, when at a point in time we had to um, bring in the president had to bring in Shabat Osei in place of um, a Farijan who had retired. My position at the time was that we should have the president submit the names to us for Parliament to subject it to prior approval, using two-thirds. If we come to Parliament approving by two-thirds, the President will be forced to be very much more consultative in the appointment than is usually the case. That is just a suggestion. Today, commissions and commissioners who are appointed by the President are undermined because of uh, maybe lack of trust. And the NDC thinks that because 
the current commissioners were introduced by President Kufuado's regime, they cannot trust them. Just as we thought Chanot Osei's commission could not be trusted, what should be the way forward for us as a country? Or should we go on in this haranguing all the time when there's a new set of commissioners? I think there should be a better way for us as a country. And as I'm saying, if we left it to all of us, strung out the critical issues containing the Constitution and elevate them to a national debate from which perhaps be born a, cons a consultative assembly or a constituent assembly, then something will come out which we shall subject to referendum. And then whatever the agreement is, that will be the new constitution for us. So I think that it should not just be a tinkering with the constitution. There should be a holistic and indeed wholesale review 